What's good, YouTube? It's your boy, Greg. Go crazy, go crazy, man. We back with another video, and today, as you can see by the thumbnail, we making that prime Denver Nuggets mellow, bitch. We making that prime mellow. You see, we already got him with the right hand. Jersey number, number seven, you did. 03, in the 03 draft class with LeBron, you did. Now, when you want to make this build, you want to go with the seventh pot chart, and that's the one that got that more green than they got that little blue. Y'all see it right here. This one right here. So click on it. Get that one. And y'all know you always got to go with the fastest speed and acceleration for these type of builds because you're the point guard. But I recommend you can do whatever you want with this build, really, because it's really probably fun to play with. And I might test it out later on. But anyway, this is how you want to make it. You want to put the close shot at 92. You want to put the driving layup at 84. Max that drive and dunk out to a 74. And so far, they give you 12 badges. You're not going to touch the rest of that. So far, that gives you four Hall of Fame. Yeah, four Hall No, three Hall of Fame if you want to split it up in each category. But it depends on how you want to do it. That's on you. Now you want to put this mid-range to an 86. So you know you can be down to the mid-range. That three pointers at 82. You can be down to that. So you see, you already got 15 right there. And you want to make that that free throw at 88. Give you a nice 20. It's probably all unique because that's five Hall of Fame badges. But like I said, you can change the badges around the way you want to. It's your choice. But I'll show you, I might, I'll show y'all how I do mine. It's like, but it's passing accuracy because you know you're gonna need a dribble, at least mellow, prime mellow could dribble. A little bit you see I can put that pass actually at a 74 but you'll see why later then I put that ball handling all the way to an 82 you max that out and give you 11 and that's all you're gonna put on the ball handling but this is your choice but this is the way I'm making my build and I'll lead the interior defense along because you're not gonna only play no paint defense and if you do you're not gonna be able to stop nobody really Cause look if you max that paint defense that paint defense out it's not gonna be a 49 what you gonna do in the 49 you ain't gonna do nothing against nobody with a 49 paint defense. Not a thing. So, you put that perimeter defense, max that out at 76. Then you max out that ladder quick inside at 72. Then you hit that close. No, you hit the steal with that 80. So you can all automatically get steals. Hopefully, that allow you to get steals in this game this year. Hopefully. We're gonna pray on that. We'll see later on. But you're gonna put that little block at a 33. Because you're not gonna really be getting no blocks with this build. I mean, but we going for the bad Johnny. Whatever way get you the most badges. Now that offensive rebound, you're gonna put it at the 54 max out. And you just wanna max out the defense. You that 62, and then they give you them six defensives. So far, this build has 12 finishing, 20 shooting, 11 playmaking, and six defensive. Now Melo, he was a solid. No, I'm gonna give him the five. He did. Make that boy 6'6", six, because six, that's probably the only way. But this is your preference. So you could make him 6'4 and get a bullet, but I don't recommend that. But I don't recommend 6'7", neither, because that ball hasn't been going down, and that three-pointer going down too low. Well. So I recommend 6'6", six, because six, you can still dribble a little bit, if you know, when we see the packages. Make that weight one eight so you can get the fastest speed and acceleration. Now, for the wingspan, this is on you. You can max it out. Get you... Now, it wouldn't really hurt your ball handle make your defense better. Everything else but itself with your three-pointer. That'll go down to a 76. And plus that four would make it an 80 if you hit 99. So, I would recommend honing it down to at least this. So, you get a 76 ball handle. You get that plus four, make that an 80. Then you get that 80 three-pointer off the rip. Then you get that 84 mid-range shot off the rip. This is what I would recommend. And y'all know Melo. Melo was no playmaker like that. He could shoot, but he could slash too. But mostly Melo, he was already shaking his defenders with that with those moves in the post. He was over with. One stop a prime Melo in that post. But I would give my Melo shot credit and takeover. And this would be the build. A three level score. That would be Melo. Prime Melo in his bag in Denver getting buckets took that 10 to the Western Conference Finals against Kobe R.P. Kobe man now look this is how I would do the badges 
depending on how the badges work, we'll go like this that Hall of Fame. You know, I mean, gold. Well, yeah, I was right. You do get four gold since you don't get no Hall of Fame badges with this one right here. Put that on gold fancy footwork. You put on that gold slithery. Put on bronze. Live city finisher, cause you know people about to throw you out of the to 2K, unless they change the way. Put on acrobat on silver, or you could run it like this. With gold acrobat, you can take that gold acrobat off, and throw on that consistent finisher, but we don't know. But for my player, I would give him that acrobat. Or turn the acrobat down to silver and give him that really finish on bronze. Then for the shoes, it says no quick draw. So, we're in that Hall of Fame Dead Eye, Hall of Fame Green Machine, Hall of Fame Randy Sender, and Hall of Fame Hot Zone Hunter. That Hall of Fame Catch and Shoot when you have Hot Zone. But if you don't have Hot Zone, you take that badge off. And for me, I would put on Volume Shooter. I never tried the badge. I should try the badge, but it looks like it's not a bad badge. It wasn't that bad last year, what other people were saying. But I would put it on for this. And for the playmaking, give him gold unpluckable. Then give him that gold tight handles. You know you gotta get that gold quick first step. Now it depends on the unplugged board. If it don't work, oh, I put on space card. I mean, quick first step. Take that down to bronze. If it still doesn't work, and throw in that bell out if you need it. But if you don't need it, you can take that off. On that space creator, and y'all know Melo will go on the post. But if you don't like to go on the post, put on that gold space creator, just put it like this. But it's personal preference, that's how we're running. Nah, I'm gonna change that space creator. Put that on. Put on that bell out on Trust 2K. For the defense, put it on silver, clamps, silver, intimidator, bronze, pick dodger, or silver pick dodger. Because in 2K21, you're going to get hit by screens if you play tools with this build. So, either recommend running it like this. This would be the best way to run it though, because everything will be even. Or if you want to, tone that down, put that on gold, tone that down, put it this on bronze, put that on gold, or you could run it like this, but your choice, but me, we run it like this, and this will complete your car, mellow build, and only to finish it off, get that boy that jumper, and that will be it, so, that's all for the video, but don't forget to like, I'm subscribe, and we still grinding, man, I told you we was trying to upload daily, I thought it was a game, no, I didn't no game, dog. I was for real. I'm doing my best to upload every day these new build videos. But like I said, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and I'm out.